Hi, my name is Joseph Villarreal, and this is my video presentation on Robert Arneson. Robert Arneson was born in Benicia, California in 1930. He studied at the art education at the California College of Arts, and that would begin his legacy. Arneson is considered the founder of funk art. Once Arneson got liver cancer in 1975, he would start creating art that became more somber in tone. Moving on to Arneson's work, uh, we have Molded Salad in 1970. Molded Salad in 1970 is a 7 by 15 by 3 inch glaze ceramic sculpture. With the colorful and glaze ceramic, Arneson was able to create Molded Salad. This would fall in line with the funk art that he was well known for. And as the picture suggests, Arneson was just creating a glaze ceramic salad bowl and tray. The colors used in Molded Salad showcase a bright tone to the artwork. And this would fall in line with his funk art. Moving on to This Head is Mine, made in 1981. Uh, we have a 72 by 23 by 23 inch unique glazed ceramic pedestal, bronze ceramic sculpture. This is a self-portrait of Robert Arneson himself. Robert Arneson created this artwork in a friendly, humorous, and irreverent way by including phrases on the pedestal and all around it, including the base. Moving on to The Wimp Dip, made in 1991. Um... This is a 97 by 75 inch pastel plastic animal acrylic oil on canvas. Wimp Dip showcases a screaming George Bush that is covered in oil. This artwork is referenced to the Gulf War that was going on during this time. And looking at the painting, uh, we see George Bush with the wording on his head that says Gulf Oil. The black dripping acrylic coming down George Bush's head suggests that this oil is from the Gulf War. Moving on to uh, Untitled Fountain that was created in 1992. We have a we have a 47 and 1 4 by 31 and 3 4 inch charcoal Conte crayon on paper. Uh, understanding that Arneson was battling cancer during this time helps the viewers understand what Arneson is portraying in this artwork. The old man is vomiting, tells the viewers that the man is sick and in pain. The red coloring throughout the painting suggests that the man is severely sick and his blood is rushing to his head. Moving on to the last one, we have Chemo 1. Um, this is a sculpture that was made by Robert Arneson and he's most infamous for. Um, we have a 47 by 21 by 19 inch glazed ceramic sculpture. Chemo 1 depicts a ceramic sculpture that is the reflection of Arneson and his long battle with cancer. The sculpture displays a man with a missing forehead and chest piece. The sculpture displays uh, a hollow interior suggests that the man is alive on the inside but gone on the inside. And as we can see on the uh, pedestal we have a precautions of all the things that Robert Arneson was going through and battling with through liver cancer. And so as we go back, we see molded salad and we see the transition to this head is mine and we see the transition to wimp dip. And as it occurs, we, we, we notice a dark tone that, you know, carries on as the years go by. And in molded salad, he wasn't diagnosed with liver cancer just yet. He was diagnosed with liver cancer in 1975. So in 1981, when this head of mine is, was created, he was already with liver cancer, but he was still actively working. And we can tell that it only got his, his liver cancer only got worse and worse until, you know, he had passed away. But he was still actively, you know, contributing to the artworks that he had created and making very great sculptures. And, but we notice the dark tone that carries on. You know, we get bright colors. We get... Everything going good, and as soon as he gets cancer, we notice the bright tone still that this head of mine is, you know, portrays. And then as we move on to Wimp Dip 1991, and then we move on to Fountain 1992 and Chemo 1 1992, we notice how the, you know, the dark carries on, and it, and it only grows from, you know, those years that he had had cancer. And so moving on to my original artwork, I'm going to be drawing my grandfather that I had lost in 2018. Um, the material I'm going to be using is going to be pastel, Conte crayon, and acrylic. And after researching and understanding Robert Arneson's art, I will be using his somber tone style of drawing. The influence for this is the dark times that Arneson went through, and that reminds me of all the loved ones lost this year due to COVID-19. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed.